Hello everybody, in this video we are going to explore the browser page and the sound randomization functions in our randomizer series libraries. We are going to use Vesper, but all the other libraries in this series will work the same way. There are two ways of accessing the browser. One way is to press either of these magnifying lens icons. If we click on the icon on layer A, the browser will set itself to the current sound category and sound source that is loaded in layer A. The Select Layer A symbol is lit to signify that we can now change this sound. Whatever category and sound source we are going to select now, it will be loaded on layer A. Similarly, if we close the browser and start by clicking on the lens icon of layer B, the browser will set itself to layer B sound category and sound source. Once the sound browser is open, we can switch to a different layer by clicking on the letter A or B, according to which layer we want to load the sound into. Or we can click on the lens icon of the corresponding layer. It will have the same effect. The second way to access the browser is to click on the browser button over here. Once we do that, the browser opens, but none of the layers are selected yet. So we can just click on letter A or B or the lens icons to choose whichever layer we want to load the new sound source into. The browser page includes some options for sound randomization. In fully random mode, the sound randomization will be just random. The only thing the resulting sounds will have in common are the volume envelope settings that are chosen in each layer panel. This way, we can have a degree of control on the randomized sound and achieve only short sounds or only long pad-like sounds if we want to. To randomize a sound, we click on the big random button over here, like so. We need to look at this little info at the bottom saying to wait a little until the sound is ready. It's best we play our notes after the message has disappeared to avoid unwanted noises and blips. Also, we can check the progress bar on top of the interface and wait that the randomization process is complete. Then we can keep on randomizing. And if we want to go back to a previous randomization, we just click undo over here. We can also keep on clicking undo to go back to past randomizations. Or click redo to go forward in the history of randomizations. Once we click random again, Nothing will be lost, as the new randomization will be saved on a new memory location. Therefore, we can still go back to past sounds by clicking Undo or Redo. The Undo Level Value Edit over here gives us a clue about the number of randomizations we have made. It shows the current randomization number. We can double-click and input a number of a past sound randomization. but we suggest not to go lower than the factory number, which is the number you found at first when you loaded the instrument the first time. You can also use the arrows to go back and forth, but we must never go beyond the last sound randomization number as, well, it's not been made yet. The randomization options menu also allows us to randomize within a specific category. So let's say I just want to generate acoustic sounds. I need to click on acoustic, then random, and the resulting sound will be within that category. Each category will have different results of effects as well, with the acoustic or natural category being less wet and the spacey being the most processed. If we choose the blend randomizing option, we can then choose two categories among which randomizing. For instance, let's choose Blend, and we notice straight away this suggestion info over here. 
Then we click on the first category, then the second one, and we hit random. That's it. Now we have a sound which is a mixture of the two chosen categories. We can also close the browser and keep on randomizing, and the instrument will keep in mind the latest randomization preferences. So that's all for this video. Please watch all the other videos to learn about all the other features. Thanks for watching. Bye.